You're wearing um, your earrings. Oh my God. See the little uh, hot pepper ones. Oh my God. That's cool. But you're wearing a watermelon apron. So you could have oh, worn yeah. watermelon earrings. Go change, go change. <laughs> hey everyone. And welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ. And this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. I changed my hat for today's guest because she is known as Raw Food Romance. This is the last show pertaining to the Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle. And without today's guest, it would, but it would just be an idea. There would be no bundle. So Alyssa Maris of Raw Food Romance, I met, gosh, I think even less than a year ago. I think it might've been last April. I was asked to be part of a bundle by Chris Kendall. It was called the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle. And I'm not raw. I went to culinary school. I was raw for a couple of years. And yes, I do have some raw recipes. And I'm thinking, what am I doing in this bundle? I am not raw. My audience isn't raw. This is really crazy. But it turned out to be one of the best experiences of my life because I am familiar with bundles. I know to many of you, this may be your first introduction to a bundle, but bundles have been around <laughs> I mean, I've been in them as a contributor for at least 10 years to other people's bundles. And what I saw in this bundle was were, were two books, which are part of our bundle day. One is called, uh, it's a burger book by Lissa and one by her husband, Nate, which is called The Inside Scoop. And we receive these as eBooks because bundles has to be virtual. Otherwise we couldn't charge the ridiculously low amount. But I looked up these books on Amazon and they were like over $80. And I'm like, these were the most beautifully photographed books with the most delicious recipes. And then I ended up having them both on the show. And I'm like, they were just like the greatest people too. And, you know, I, I asked Lissa, it was like, it, when Lissa said yes to doing a bundle with me, it was like when the, when the, um, you know, like when the homecoming queen says yes to the, to the prom, because I mean, her, we, yes, the ideas are a dime a dozen. And I did bring the people for the most part, but if you look at the website, she created everything and she did everything and it's not easy. And I don't know how people know how to do what she does, but she does it so well. And she's in the bundle and she put like five books in the bundle. So I mean, any of her books are sell for more than the price of the bundle. So what are you waiting for? Because she makes raw food delicious, beautiful, accessible. She has a YouTube and Instagram channel. She's known as Raw Food Romance. And today she's going to make a recipe for the bundle, a marinated mushroom marinara, Lissa Maris. Hello. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on the show, Chef AJ. It has been such a a tremendous pleasure to work with you and all of the contributors who are part of the bundle. This has been such an amazing event and definitely hope people can go click the link and go check out the bundle because today's the last day and we're not doing any extensions. So it's not going to be some surprise being like, oh, it's still available for the next 24 hours. No extensions. It ends tonight at midnight PST. We're turning off the website. So if you want to get almost $5,000 worth of vegan content from doctors and chefs and rough foodies and vegans and all kinds of stuff for $49, this is your last chance. And I've had so much fun building with you. It's been a lot of work, like doing the lives, having all the interviews and on all the back end stuff has been really overwhelming, but it's a beautiful thing that we're able to connect and come together and create this for the people, for the people. Right. That, that's what the contributors are all saying. They never knew that all these people existed and they're friends now and they're going on each other's shows. So we really did create a family and a community. And I know that in the past, a lot of bundles will be for a week and then they'll extend it like a trick. And this, there's no trick. It really, because we're going out of town and we can't, Charles is customer service. And so once we get on that plane, we're not able to help you. So it's really 11.59 PM Pacific time. And then it's gone forever. Over $5,000 worth of unbelievable content from your favorite raw and cooked vegan chefs, influencers, doctors, athletes, and uh, over a thousand recipes is, yeah, and, and you, I don't know what to say, raw food, raw food beauties and cuties like yourself have made delicious recipes from the bundle. And we already have a question from Colleen, because realize not everybody's raw, and even people that are, not everybody has a dehydrator. And she wants to know if, if, if it's not, it, like, I know that you're raw, but can you give an idea for somebody that would want to cook one of your burgers, like how long and at what temperature? 
Yeah, that's a really good question. Because I personally formulated the burger recipes to work in a dehydrator, to work for raw foodies. But I would say if you're going to do something in the oven, baking it at a low temperature for, I don't know, maybe an hour or two, like you really have to test out different ways of doing it, but it's totally possible. I have heard of people baking the ones with like the nuts or the, the thicker ones, baking them on parchment and it works just fine in the oven. And they did anywhere from one to two hours, depending, but on a really low temperature. So whatever the lowest temperature your oven can go to, I think it's most ovens go down to 170. So you could do 170 for about an hour or so and see how it goes and use parchment paper or even silicone. Like we have the silicone sheets that we use for our dehydrator trays, but they work in um, the, they work in the oven as well. Well, obviously people that are raw still live in places that exist. What is What do raw people do with their ovens? <laughs> we have ours back here and yeah, we would love to have um, no oven there. We, we really want to design our own kitchen and have like a rack where we have all our microgreens and our ferments and everything going on there. But we actually just use our oven as extra counter space. So our my cousin made us this really beautiful wooden cutting board that fits over top of the oven. And we just use that as a space to put our rack to, to rinse and drain our sprouts and all that kind of stuff. So we have our bowl of tomatoes and avocados on there. Just let, I would recommend people to unplug their oven just so it doesn't turn on accidentally and burn whatever you have on it. But yeah, we use it as extra counter space. <laughs> nice. We got some nice comments. Uh, Vivacious bought the bundle and recommended to somebody who also bought. Thank you so much. No, thank you. And I just saw a, a comment from Leah about, I don't want to read it because it will, Janet says, I bought it yesterday. I'm so excited to try new recipes. There's over a thousand. Leah writes to anyone who thinks they can't afford the bundle. Look, you can't afford not to get this bundle. And I believe that PayPal allows people for payments if that's a problem. Um, that's my understanding. So yeah. Nice. Yeah, definitely, definitely give it a shot. And even if you don't get paid until say the 15th, you could even get a family member to buy it for you. And you can pay them back when you get paid because today is the last day there aren't going to be any extensions. We're not opening up, you know, two weeks down the road if people missed it. If you miss it, this is it. We're only doing these once in a blue moon. So it's that's why it's called a bundle event. And we end on this day just because it is a lot of work to run these bundles. So oh, can, really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me that part, though. See, you you know what? When you said yes to me, you you didn't tell me and Charles what was going to happen. No, it's it's been fine. But the customer service, it's, it's just a lot to do during these 10 days. And, you know, all the, all the contributors, it's like it's like being the mother hen to all these 90 people, you know, especially ones that have never done bundles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think everyone's been enjoying it so much, like you said, connecting with each other and learning about new people because there's so many people in this space. Like I didn't know most of the people who were in the bundle and I've had the pleasure of connecting with them and emailing with them. It's just been such a wonderful event. So awesome. Thank you for doing it with me. Adrian. Oh no, thank you. And uh, we have a, a nice comment about, um, I'm so excited about this bundle. I've enjoyed seeing all of the lives. It's giving me a bird's eye view into so many of the contributors. I have so many new people to follow. Yes, exactly. When you buy the bundle, you're getting 112 items. Now, some contributors contributed more. Like, for example, like AJ said to me, I, I have four things in the bundle. And my husband has three things in the bundle. But a lot of most people just contributed one item or two. So there's 112 items in this bundle from over 90 of us. And there's so many people that you can learn from. Go follow them on social media, go watch their YouTube channels and experience everything that they have to offer too, because we can all learn from each other. Absolutely. So you are going to make a recipe today and it's in the bundle, but you're kind enough that you're going to allow me to put it in the show notes, I believe. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I have changed a little, like, I mean, it really depends on what you have on hand, 
So I like I added broccoli, for example, to this one that we're going to use, but you could really do anything. But the main recipe is in my dips and dressings book, which this is in the bundle as a digital version, because we were showing uh, I was showing AJ all of these print books. If you were to buy all of these books, these books, all four of these are in the bundle as digital copies. But if you were to buy all four of these off Amazon, it would be over one hundred and thirty dollars and you're getting these plus over a hundred other things for $49. It's such a great deal. But yes, this recipe that we're making today is in the dips and dressings book. It's got 117 low fat, raw vegan sauces and salad dressings in here. Yeah, that's a great book. And people were making your, your mango chili uh, salad dressing and they're saying it's delicious. Nice. Yeah. And I think another contributor to the bundle made the sweet and spicy jalapeno one. And she was like, this is so good. Yeah. No, you are the sauce boss. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, I guess we should get started on making this. Um, so really, it's super simple. And I know there, there it seems like there's going to be a lot of steps to this, but there really isn't. So what we're going to do, we're going to start Normally, about an hour before you eat, you'll want to start this specific recipe because you need time for these specific ingredients to dehydrate just a little bit to get them softer and a little bit more flavor. So what we have in here is we have a little bit of broccoli. We've got about, oh, I don't know, um, six or eight different mushrooms. And I already sliced them up so you don't have to... <laughs> suffer through washing, watching me chop these. So I chopped them up already and I like to slice them thin. The thinner you slice the mushrooms, the better they dehydrate, I feel. So you want to slice them nice and thin. And then we also have some sweet onion, which I will chop right now. And you can add anything you want to this marinate, the marinated mushrooms. So we like to start with a bowl of sliced mushrooms, and then we'll add our broccoli. And you really don't need a whole ton because the whole thing is, is about adding variety. So you could add a little bit of broccoli, you could add a little bit of leek, you could add a little bit of cauliflower, whatever you want to add to this, it's totally your call, your, your choice. You can add whatever you like. So in honor of that, we're going to be adding some cherry tomatoes to this marinade. Now, I just like to chop the cherry tomatoes in half. This isn't in the recipe, but you can definitely alter the recipe because the recipe really is just a guide. It's a guide so that you know kind of what to do, but you can always play around and add different things. So we're adding those cherry tomatoes and I'm going to chop up really quickly this onion like so and we will add this to our bowl did you go so to culinary no. did you go to culinary school at all i did not <laughs> but you make such beautiful food how do you know how i think it's in my genetics actually my mother and my grandmother had a TV show in the seventies, like a local TV show where they did cooking classes and all kinds of stuff. And my grandmother used to win awards for her recipes. Now, obviously they weren't vegan and they weren't the greatest <laughs> options that I would choose, but she did win awards for her recipes as well in, when we were in Canada. So I feel like it's a little bit of a maternal genetic uh, <laughs> divine thing that they've been given to me. So yeah, <laughs> thank you. I love that you enjoy um, my recipes and how they look. And it's so much fun. And I'm a photographer as well. So I have great pleasure in creating beautiful, beautiful pictures. So to add to this, so we want to marinate this. So to add to this, I personally really like using coconut aminos. If you didn't want to use coconut aminos, you can use lemon juice. We're going to use both. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of coconut aminos on these mushrooms. And I'm going to also grate a, a clove of garlic. I love this hand grater. This is probably one of my favorite graters. So it's just like a little, 
a little hand grater and then I'll just take that fresh garlic and put it in yeah, there. No, that almost looks like the thing they use on your heel for pedicures. Totally, totally does. <laughs> it's my favorite one. I know there's lots of different, like you can use a garlic press or whatever else, but yeah, that's my favorite one. So then another thing that I like to add to this that's not in the recipe is lemon juice because lemon juice softens vegetables. So I'm just going to juice a little bit of this lemon. I'm only going to do half for this recipe, but I'm going to pour that into our bowl here. And the next step is easy. Just mix it up. Make sure that garlic is, is really well mixed into all of your vegetables. And I do this again, like I said, about an hour before we eat. So if we're going to eat dinner at around 530, then I'll put these into the dehydrator around 430. And if you want them to go longer, you can. You can start them at four o'clock and let them go a little longer. The longer they go, the more dry they are and the more flavor they have. So it's, it's a good idea if you want to have them dry. And you can test out different ways of doing this and see what works best for you. So then we have our dehydrator sheet. We like the Bright Kitchen um, silicone baking sheets that we put on these. And then we just pour our marinade our marinated mushrooms with our veggies and we just spread them out. If you spread them out, they dehydrate better. So you'll want to make sure that they're spread out. And I like to put the, the bigger ingredients kind of towards the edge because I find that the dehydrator is a little hotter, a little bit on the edge and those ones tend to get a lot more drier. So there we go. So once you have them on your tray, then you would just put them in the dehydrator at 115 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. So we will pretend that we did that. <laughs> and I have some that I already prepared for us ready to go. So these ones were in the dehydrator for about an hour and you can tell that they're a little bit softer. The onions soften, so they're not so super strong when you're eating them. You could also freeze onions as well because that's a really good way to do it. But once they're dehydrated and ready to go, so we'll pretend it's 5.30, we just put those into another bowl and we can start on our noodles. Now, if you're raw, you can use zucchini or cucumber for your noodles, or if you do cooked vegan stuff, you can use any noodles you want. You could use spaghetti noodles or whatever, but we're gonna use cucumbers today. And I have this contraption, which is a spiralizer. This is the one I've had this for over seven years. And it's done me well. So <laughs> we're going to use this one, a favorite one. Yep, that's the one I have too. Have you ever done kohlrabi? Because Trader Joe sells kohlrabi now as pasta noodles and they're fabulous. No way, I have not. I'm going to have to try that now. <laughs> and it's already, it's already spiralized. Already spiralized. And that's another tip for people who might not have time. You can just get the pre-spiralized stuff too. You know, stop off at the store and grab it. So I like to cut mine in half because they're a little long, but we're gonna do this here. And it does not take a lot of time. Just crank through. You could peel them as well. If you peel them, then they're, they have a more white look to them um, if you're going for the looks. But if you're going for the fiber, you can leave the fiber, the peel on your cucumbers. I personally prefer cucumber noodles over zucchini noodles, but definitely a personal preference. Do you have a preference? Have you tried? Um, I, well, no, they're, they're all, I mean, anything is good as a noodle. Even, even sweet potato makes a great noodle or beet. Yeah, beet, golden beet, spiralized golden beet is like, ah, so good. It's the best, but I, I'm loving the kohlrabi lately. Yeah, kohlrabi is a new thing that I've added to my diet for um, just for variety to improve my microbiome. And it's been really nice to add those. I like to chop mine a little bit so they're not as long because I don't like having one of those really long noodles when I'm eating. So I like to cut them up a little bit. We are going to grab... Let's get a plate here. Let's do this plate. And we're going to put our noodles onto 
Great. If you want, you could always put these in a strainer while you're making the sauce to get rid of any of the moisture, um, but it's totally up to you. It's, it's not something that you can completely 100% avoid because they're cucumbers and they're hydrating. So they're going to sweat or leak a little bit of water into your sauce. So it really depends on how dry you want those, but there we go. We've got that spiralized, good to go. Now we're gonna make the sauce. So we will start with our dates. So the key to an amazing marinara is the dates. This is the secret ingredient to an amazing marinara, raw marinara. There's a lot of raw marinaras are just with tomatoes blended with savory. And it just is missing something. It's missing that sweetness. And when you go to the grocery store and you read the labels of all of the sauces, one of the top ingredients is processed sugar, which we don't want. So we default to fruit. You can use dates. You could use mango if you wanted to have a little bit of a different kind of uh, sauce. I've used pineapple as well to make kind of like a pizza flavored sauce with oregano. It's really good. So we're gonna start with five dates. And then the second secret ingredient is sun-dried tomatoes. So I've got these sun-dried tomatoes. I'm putting in half a cup. You can make your own sun-dried tomatoes with your dehydrator. Just slice your tomatoes up into, I don't know, quarter inch slices and let them dehydrate. You've got your own dehydrated sun-dried tomatoes. Then for fresh tomato, you can use one, like one Roma tomato, or you can use like maybe eight little little cherry tomatoes. So we're gonna use cherry tomatoes. I feel that they're a really great addition to this sauce. And red bell pepper. So we have half of a red bell pepper here. I'm gonna add that. Two cloves of garlic, because you can never have enough garlic. Right. And I like to add apple cider vinegar to this. So I'm adding like a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Now you could, add whatever else you want. You could add black pepper to it. Let's add a little bit of smoked paprika because why not? Again, these are all ingredients like you can do, you can play around with your recipe and just add whatever you want. So unfortunately, we don't have any fresh basil. The stores are all out of fresh basil. So I thought instead of fresh basil for this one, we're going to use arugula microgreens, a great way to add some spice to the dressing. You could add jalapeno to this, but we've got here one tablespoon of dried oregano and about a quarter cup of fresh greens. Like you could use basil or like we're using arugula microgreens. We're not going to add those right now because the thing is, once you blend this, if you want to have a warm sauce, you're going to need to blend it for about two minutes. And when you're blending basil, it gets really bitter if you blend it longer than like 10, 15 seconds. So you want to blend it until it's warm first. And once it's warm, then you add the basil and then you just pulse it for like five seconds just to blend it in and break it up a little bit and to expose the aroma of the basil. But we're not going to let this go for two minutes because I don't want to... <laughs> have you guys listen to the blender for two straight minutes. So we're going to pretend that we are blending this for two minutes. So um, uh, could you grab me some water? Sure. My husband, Nate, is going to grab me some water. <laughs> well, so he's your, he's your water boy now. He's my water boy. <laughs> totally. So he's going to get me a little bit of water because we have a, our, our reverse osmosis water filter here, but we have it taken down for the purposes of the show. <laughs> but he's here, he's brought me some water and we're gonna add that. Now it depends on how thick you want your sauce, really as to how much water. I put about, I don't know, maybe a little over a cup of water in here. As you're blending it, the, the dates and the sun-dried tomatoes are gonna suck up a lot of the water to the point where it might not be blending. So you can add a little bit of water depending on how your blender is working. But I'm gonna start with just over a cup. And you could start with less if you want to. We also have a vacuum blender, but we're not gonna be using that today. I just wanna do this a little bit for the show.
So now it's quite thick. Um, once you've blended it and it's nice and warm, that's when you would add your herbal ingredients at the very end. So we're gonna add our microgreens and we are going to add our oregano. Put the lid back on and we're just gonna pulse this in. Not too much, like five seconds. Is anything longer than that? And it just makes the fresh herbs more bitter. So there we go. Two minutes, two minutes later, you've got some fresh raw marinara. And if you blend it for two minutes, it'll be nice and warm as well under the 115 degrees Fahrenheit for raw. But really it doesn't matter because it's all about getting more plant foods into your diet, whole food made at home. That's the best way to do it. So whether you cook this or you blend it, it doesn't really matter. Just want to make sure that you're getting more whole food into your body. So we're going to add this to our marinated veggies because we want it chunky. I love chunky marinaras. So that's why we do it this way. And then we'll just mix that up like so. Hey, Lisa, Kathy says, is there any way to make sun-dried tomatoes if you don't have a dehydrator? In the sun, you can. If you have a sunny spot, um, it should be a well-ventilated area. So having them on like a tray uh, that's protected from the elements like flies or other insects or whatever. So you could make kind of a contraption with a net over top of it. But as long as it's in a really super sunny spot, you can sun dry tomatoes. That's why they're called sun dried tomatoes, right? Because we dry them in the sun. The dehydrator is just an easy way to do it at home. So I need, let's grab a nice scoopy scoop so we can scoop our marinara onto our There we go. The dehydrator trays you sh showed, are they from Excalibur or do they just, are they work with the Excalibur? Um, so we have the trays themselves. Actually, I'll show this one here. So this here is from Bright Kitchen. This is a silicone tray that we use on top of the Excalibur tray. So this is what you get with the Excalibur dehydrator. And we use the mesh for more things like kale chips or things that are already kind of dry. And we use these for the more wet ingredients because we don't want it dripping through the mesh onto the bottom of our tray of our dehydrator because it's a lot of cleanup. So these are really, really good to use and they fit perfectly on the Excalibur dehydrator trays. So yeah, we bought these from Bright Kitchen. We just went on Amazon and looked for these trays, but they've been really nice to have in, in place of the mesh because we don't always want to use the mesh. If you're doing things like just sliced fruit or sun-dried tomatoes or even dehydrating mushrooms, you can use the mesh because you want the airflow. But if you have something marinating in a sauce and you don't want that sauce dripping down, use a solid dehydrator tray for that. But here we go, check it out. We've got our little pasta. Could you show people? Thank you. Look at the pasta. <laughs> oh my God, that's restaurant quality. Did you study photography? Because your, your work is so beautiful. Thank you. I actually did not study photography um, like in a school or anything like that. I've taken a lot of classes from professionals in the industry and I was a professional photographer from 2008 until about 2019, give or take like when I was in Canada. But since moving here, I've been solely dedicated to raw food romance and doing these videos and building bundles and <laughs> doing all kinds of fun stuff. So I have translated my love of photography into with my love of raw food. And I just, I love to take photos of food and of everything else, but food is such a fun thing to take pictures of because we love to create art with our food. And we eat a lot with our eyes. Like if it looks good, we want to eat it. 
Right. Steph says, Chef AJ, thanks for making this bundle available. Couldn't have done it without Lissa. This is such a brilliant idea. The best is that we can download it. Many other places only allow you to view within a year. We allow you a year to download, but then you own it forever. Maybe you could like explain a little bit because you see the kind of problems we keep having over and over with people. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about how, like, the inner workings of the bundle. Because I've been working with Charles to do the customer support, and we get the same questions over and over again. Number one, you have one year from the date of purchase to download all of the content. Once you download it fully, so if you if you open up the download window and you just tap on an item and it opens, that counts towards your download limits. It's just best to just download it directly onto your device instead. So you can open it from your device. Once you download it, you can open it an unlimited amount of times and it doesn't matter because it's your PDF file on your device instead of from the link itself. So once you buy the bundle, you'll get the download link. Just download all the products and then open them on your device. That's the best way to do it. Unfortunately, but fortunately, I mean, it's kind of like, <laughs> uh, it's like the other side of the coin really, but. There is a download all button available at the end of the list that says download all files, right? If you click the download all button, because there's 112 items, sometimes it clogs the download and people aren't getting all of the downloads. So we're recommending either use a different device or a different browser. Sometimes it's the browser that gets overloaded or just do them individually. Just go through it, put on some good music and just go through and download each and every single one individually. It takes like 10, 15 minutes maybe to do them all individually, but it guarantees that you download them all onto your device. We also highly, highly recommend because you only have one year to download these, once the one year is up, you will not have access to that download link again. So we really urge people to download the products onto your device and to back them up. So putting them on a USB stick, an external hard drive, or store them somewhere safely on the cloud, like iCloud, Google Drive, or Dropbox, will ensure that you have copies somewhere else in case your device dies, because that happens a lot. Sometimes people will download all the content, they don't back it up, and then when their phone dies or they lose their phone and they can't get those files back, maybe it's been three years since they bought the bundle and they're not able to download those items anymore. It's very important that you back up your personal files that you don't want to lose. And this doesn't just go for the bundle. It goes for your photos, your precious memories, your videos. You want to make sure that they're backed up somewhere safe so that you always have access to them. Another thing that people need to be aware of is there are some time sensitive items in this bundle. For example, we have when uh, Saturdays for the month of March, Victoria Moran has some Saturday sessions. So you want to make sure that you have the Saturdays available. And if you want to have recordings from any of these, you have to contact the creator themselves because we are just providing the content. We don't deal with any of the inner workings of the other creators stuff. So if you have an issue with one of the creators links or something's not working in their product, contact them directly and they'll be way better at helping you with their own content than we will be because we're just providing it for everybody and you'll have to contact them individually. But Victoria Moran has Saturday sessions in March. There is a talk from Neil Bernard on March 24th that by buying the bundle, you have free access to go watch. So make sure that you sign up for the Zoom to be able to watch that. There is also James Sant has a Living Foods 101 course. You have one week after buying the bundle to use the code to access this course. All you have to do is go to his website and put the code in. Once you do that, you have access to his course forever. You don't have to worry about it, but the, co the code is only available for the week after the bundle. So make sure that you do these time sensitive things. There are a couple other things in there like Plant Chicks has six month free um, at, to be part of their little program thing, but you only have one year to use that. So make sure that you use the time sensitive items the ebooks you'll be able to use forever because it's just an ebook full of recipes or information. So make sure you download all the content. And if you have any questions further, um, we do have terms and service on the website. You can just go to the website, click the link in the description, and there's the terms up in the top corner or in the menu bar. 
And you can read a little bit more about that. Or you can email us at uwlbundle at gmail.com and we can help with your questions further. Yeah. And I hope that please, a email, bit. please email that address because for some reason people are, are contacting Better Life Summits, which I have no idea why because Toby has absolutely nothing to do with this. So Tiffany's saying the ultimate weight loss bundle is the best bundle ever. She's one of the contributors of the JAR class. I'm curious why we give them a year to download it though. Cause don't you think if somebody isn't going to look at it within a year, they're probably not going to look at it. Yeah, we give a year. That's kind of a standard in the bundle industry because some people are buying it right away, but they might not have the space on their computer. Maybe they're waiting to get um, a hard drive or a new computer, or they're not able to download it right away. So we want to give it people enough time to be able to download it. But after one year, the link will not be available for you to download anything. So make sure you download everything. I've had many, many people download stuff and then their phone breaks or dies or they lose it and they're messaging the bundle organizers to get a link to download again but it's been past the one year so make sure you back up your files it's very 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 important great and uh, is it different like if people want to do it on their phone or their ipad the, the, the process so if you're doing it on your phone or your ipad then it's recommended that you use the little, there's on an iPhone, I'm not too sure about the Androids because I don't use Android, but on the iPhone in the very bottom, uh, like once you tap on the item and it opens, there's a little box with an arrow at the very bottom of the screen. You tap that, I recommend people use the books app because as soon as you, it's an orange icon with a book in it. Once you tap on that, it just immediately puts it in your iBooks. So you can just go to your iBooks and you've got all the content in there. The only thing is, is that that's not necessarily a backup unless you back up your iPhone to iCloud. So I always recommend it's always best to download to a laptop or a desktop computer and then place those files on a USB stick or your backup. Google Drive is probably one of the best options because when you put them in Google Drive, you can access Google Drive from any device. So you can use your phone, you can use your iPad, you can have anything that's connected to the internet and connected to your Google Drive. You can tap on the icon in Google Drive and just go to the folder with all your books and you've got them right there. You can download them from your Google Drive in a limited amount of times forever as long as you hold the files. So Google Drive is one of my favorite places. Dropbox is good, but I feel like Dropbox is kind of finicky with downloads and sometimes like even with my own files, I, found, I find I have issues with Dropbox, I much prefer to use Google Drive. That makes sense. Uh, here's a question. Are there, has anything new been added to the bundle for people that bought on day one? Um, well, there have been some refreshes of certain books like Victoria Moran. There was a typo on the date. So we refreshed the new PDF. Um, there hasn't been anything new added to the bundle except for my burger book. I added the burger book, which is this one yeah come show some pictures of that because people don't realize isn't that book like 80 dollars on amazon or something like that <laughs> okay let's see here hello everybody <laughs> so yeah this book here is it's i think it's 42.99 on um amazon and the but bundle's 49 dollars. so yeah exactly right so we've got burgers, raw vegan burgers. Here's the cover. And these are raw vegan burgers. This is a mushroom bun. There's avocado fries. There's, this is the no fish harmed burger. And these are all made with a dehydrator. Again, you could, you could improvise and use um, your oven. One of my favorites though, is the Juicy Lucy. I wanna find that one for you guys. Because that one is good. Here's the Juicy Lucy. It's so delicious. And there's also sauces, toppings, salads, and sides in here. So you've got the uh, sauces that you can mix and match. And then there's, there's a couple higher fat ones. We don't use oil, zero oil. But the higher fat ones have like nuts in them. So it, you, it, that's an option for you if you want to. But then there's also toppings. We've got relish, chutney, um, 
onion rings, eggplant bacon. Yeah, that book is, that's the first time I had you on. You did your pineapple teriyaki burger. So how do we get the book if we already bought the bundle? Because it was added. Yes, just go back to the download link and it'll be part of, it'll just, it's by alphabetical order. I think if we ever do a bundle again, we will put the books in by author name because that might be a little bit easier to find because it's alphabetical. So we'll do the author name, but it's called The Burger Book by Lisa Maris. And that's in there. And you're also getting um, the digital version of Dips and Dressings, which this was, this book is one of my absolute most popular downloads. And this is the one that I think Stacy made this one, the spicy jalapeno. Um, but yeah, there's 117 recipes in here and 48 of them are no fat. So there's plenty of no fat and super low fat uh, recipes in this one. And then you're also getting the nice cream book. I should get that one too. <laughs> yeah, an ice cream book is incredible. I mean, you know, it's just all fruit, the whole fruit and nothing but the fruit. So guys, by the time this show ends, you'll literally have 12 hours and then it's gone. Yeah, and then it's gone. It's gone. But you know, like the whole thing is, is that the reason why we can do it for this cheap is because we want people to be able to add more plant foods to their life. And we can only do it for 10 days because it's a lot of work to put these on and to organize it all. So it's only 10 days. It's over tonight at midnight Pacific. Here are some of the nice creams. And I had so much fun photographing this for my husband. This is my husband's book. Let's get another one here. Oh, this was a good one. And they're super simple, delicious. We've got some rose vanilla ice cream and they're all banana based so bananas and he has at the beginning kind of like how to choose bananas food combining um how to use this book there's replacement options also his story is in here and our story because we met because he bought my meal plan volume one which is also in the bundle i don't have a print version of it but the meal plan volume one is available in this bundle it's the book that my husband bought before he even met me changed his life he lost 60 pounds following that meal plan and we connected and i did a youtube interview with him and we fell in love <laughs> and i was in canada he was living in oregon and we decided to get married. So I had to apply for a K-1 fiance visa. I entered the United States. We got married and we'll be celebrating our three-year wedding anniversary this August. Wait, so you're <laughs> saying if somebody buys the bundle, they'll get married? <laughs> you never know. You never know who you're going to meet in the bundle, right? You never, ever know. When you make healthy choices and you change your daily habits, your life takes a different a different road for many people because we're choosing different things for ourselves and that puts us on a different path and we don't know where it's going to end up. Right. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. So as people are saying, well, James, well, James, chef, James sent, um, extend his registration for the course. Cause I guess it's closing today, but the bundle is still going on. Yeah. He actually told me that he was going to leave the code up for one week after the bundle. Okay. So you can definitely, all you have to do is enter the code into the website and you've got access for as long as he has the course up forever, whenever that is. So yeah, definitely make sure you use the time sensitive items. There's only a handful. It's not like everything is, there's probably like maybe four or five things that are time sensitive that you can use. Dr. Neil Bernard class, Victoria Moran's Jessica Krant has something on March 20th and James Sants, just use the code, just use the code. And then you've got access to the course forever, <laughs> forever, as long as it exists, really. <laughs> exactly. Uh, here's a question. What is the best way to store raw, store raw burgers? Ooh, great question. So when Nate and I make them, we have these vacuum seal bags and we use the bio chef i'll just pull it up over here we use the bio chef um vacuum blender attachment and anyone can direct message me for the link to get this it fits on the old school vitamix bases not the new ones with the bluetooth just the old version like the 6300 is the one we use this is the vacuum contraption so you get a jug with a lid with a vacuum seal on the top and then you just use this to suck up all the air 
which really helps for um, like if you're experiencing a lot of gas and bloating on a raw diet, if you're blending a lot of your food, you're blending a lot of air into the blender, right? And you're drinking that, it's gonna go somewhere, <laughs> right? You're drinking all of that air. So switching to a vacuum blender works really great. But what we do is we put the burgers into vacuum sealed bags. We seal them and then we use the vacuum to suck out the air. And that helps to preserve them a lot longer because you don't have the air um, in there to encourage mold or other yeast growth. Obviously, they're not going to last forever. But if you're making a batch of raw burgers, normally you get anywhere between three and six burgers out of one batch that will typically last you if you do like one or two burgers a night, that's two to three days. And they tend to last really well after they've been dehydrated because you take out the water content. The reason things go bad is because there's water in them. So when you take the water content out, they last longer. So yeah, we like to vacuum seal them, especially if we're going camping, we will make burgers vacuum seal them in the bag using the BioChef vacuum seal. You can also get cheap and expensive ones, hand pumps and USB vacuum pumps on Amazon, like 15 bucks. And they come with vacuum seal bags as well. So you can use any of those, but otherwise they store pretty well in just a regular uh, Ziploc. You want to try and keep the airflow available so that it doesn't sit in and uh, get like the sweating happening on the edges of the container that you use. But yeah, that's, that's typically what we do. We like to vacuum seal. Thank, thank you. Uh, uh, Jerry says, Lisa and her husband are so cute. Oh, come in here, Nate. <laughs> Let's Nate right in here. Hey, ah. what's up? Chef AJ. <laughs> oh, that's the, the that's the, there's an actual person that is, that is attached yeah. to the yeah. arm that not, I can not say. Just, not not just the, the hand <laughs> coming because in. Because I, I mean, he could have been anybody when it was just his arm, you know? <laughs> Susan says they love your story. That's so sweet. Um, where in Canada are you from? Asks Dina. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta. I was born and raised. I lived there until I was 39 mm. and moved here. So we've I've been living in the United States now for three years, yeah. three and a bit. Wow, nice. it goes by so fast. Yeah, it goes by way so fast. Yeah, <laughs> this looks like some really good lunch here. Oh, I know. Oh my God. I know we'll let you go because it is lunchtime. It looks delicious. And while well, your world is watching and Dylan Holmes and Reeves have mm. live interactive cooking shows in the bundle, and uh, there's just so much. I mean, wouldn't you buy this even if you weren't in it? It's so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And 100%. you know, the thing is, too, like people are they're like, oh, well, I don't really know if I'll use this or this or whatever in the bundle. Like there's some stuff that yeah. maybe you, you're not it doesn't resonate with you, but there's so much that yeah. does. And even just buying one, two or three items separately pays for the whole bundle. Like there's some stuff in there that's $97, $79. It's a regular $300 price. course from Kelly Williamson. So hello, yeah. I mean, yeah. Google's program is 97 or 99. So it's definitely right. worth it. And you guys have in seven minutes, they'll have exactly 12 hours to buy or cry because 12, hours, 12 left. hours left. Oh. oh my gosh. And then it won't be back ever, ever. Yeah. This specific bundle will never be back so special it's such a special time it really is. i'm just so impressed with the quality of the contributors and people are saying yeah alphabetical order by contributors a great idea and elspeth who is the speedy vegan who's in the bundle said she made your crunchy curried carrot sticks from the burger book and it's so delicious nice mm, those ones are where is that here, yeah, let me just, that is a good one. Because that picture, mm. that picture does so well, well and, whenever I post and it. And see with her being a professional photographer, right? Makes the food look so incredible. I'm like, we just had that? That's what <laughs> we just ate? This is the, the carrot sticks. Mm, looks like bacon almost. Yeah, 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 it is. It's like a curried version of bacon, but yeah. using carrots. They're so delicious. They're, good. They're really good. Really good. And you get it when you buy the bundle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. just our books in the bundle totals like well over a hundred dollars. So and my three courses, fun. I sell my three classes for 75. So right there, people are asking if there's an index. We were gonna add that, weren't we? An index oh, like yeah. yeah. Um, you know what we're I what I'm gonna do for everybody who's purchased the bundle tomorrow, because once the bundle's over, we won't be getting any more orders. So after that, tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an index 
for everybody in PDF form. I'm going to upload it to the bundle and then I'm going to send every single person who bought the bundle an email. So you can download that new PDF with the index of what's time sensitive, um, what they need to know, any other information, downloadable uh, ideas and tips if you're having issues. So yeah. I'm going to upload that to the bundle tomorrow and I will send one final thank you email to everybody because we are so incredibly grateful yeah. to everyone who's purchased. And the thing is, it's not just you buying the bundle, it's you making compassionate choices for yourself, yeah. for the animals and for the planet. That's why we're doing what we're doing because we wanna help people to make these healthy, compassionate choices. So we thank you for taking the initiative mm -hmm. to add more plant foods to your diet and just make better choices overall. So we thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you everybody. And it is, it's so much fun to, mm -hmm. to learn new things and to try creating new things because you know, sometimes we, we live in a household where grow, we grow up in a household where everything is survival food, right? Canned goods and stuff out of boxes. So you have to kind of retrain yourself on how you can, how, you, how to think about food. And that's what is so cool about this bundle is the amount of information compiled from everybody really is, there's mm -hmm. just so much education. Yeah, and every bundle is different. Each one has its own offerings and this one is unique and available for only 12 more hours. So yeah. I've got to click the link in the description box and go grab it before it's gone. Oh, <laughs> so good. Yeah, well, thank you, Lissa, so much because I couldn't have, we couldn't have created this without you. It's so such a pleasure working with you. Thank you. Likewise, yeah. likewise. We love yeah. working with you too. I know, you I, too, AJ. I am oh, a little yeah. tired though. I got to be honest. I would, <laughs> me too. I would imagine. Yeah, me too. It, it, it's, it's, like, it's a lot of work behind the scenes and people don't necessarily realize that. Yeah. And they're like, you're only selling it for $49, but we're only doing this for 10 days. Yeah. So <laughs> imagine if like this was our job every day. <laughs> we oh would my gosh. And you're and, and what you've been doing like five lives. No, it's too much. It really is too much. I, oh I gotta go back. I can't wait to go back to one a day, man. I cannot yeah. wait. I, <laughs> hey, there's a question on the bio chef pump, and I don't know about this. And it says it does it fit on a standard Vitamix container? Not well, the container. Actually, like I have found that the like you can't buy just the pump by itself. It comes with the craft yeah. and it comes with a special lid. But I did find that the vacuum seal lid did fit on the Vita mm -hmm. and you can still vacuum. It sucks the lid down into yeah. it. It just, it's the seal that it creates yeah. around the edge and, and at the, at the tip here, right. you want to make sure that there's no air that can ex escape. So, and it has a special bearing yeah. on the bottom for all the, for the pressure that's being sucked out of it. But when you buy the BioChef, they send you the craft. Mm -hmm. the pitcher that fits on the Vitamix, the lid, the and, lid the and the pump. So yeah, it's all yeah. one. It's all. And one the unit. cool thing about this one from BioChef is it's BPA free. Yeah. So cool. So that's a really cool bonus to having that. And also it's brand new because we have our, our blender. We've had our blender for, oh gosh, like almost a decade. And so the, the jug is old and used. So when we got the BioChef, we got this brand new, clean, nice, jug to use so yeah the bio chef has been a really amazing addition to our life huge huge nice. addition nice <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, like it's, it's official because in one minute they'll have 12 hours and that's it. So guys, thank you so much for all the work you do in general and the bundle specifically and for making people eat more raw. Thank you very much, Chef AJ. We love AJ. you. Love you. Thanks, Nate. Thank you guys so much. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow. The bundle is over, but we'll resume regular programming with my guest, Dr. Carlo Alvara. <laughs>